Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Today we're at Richmond International Raceway, one of NASCAR's temples, but we're not here to mix it up with Jimmy and the boys. No, our calling is far greater. You see, we're trying to become the first journalists to successfully pilot the jet-inspired, award-winning Monotracer E. All right, so here we are above the track, and uh, we're with Jim Lorimer. He is the uh, U.S. distributor for Parave's Mono Tracer. Thanks for being with us, Jim. No problem. All right, so we're here to talk a little bit about the Mono Tracer E, but this is not a brand new idea altogether. Tell me a little bit about the history. The Mono Tracer concept has been around for about 25 years. It was originally called the Ecomobile, very similar to the Mono Tracer. The next step from that was then developing an electric version of that, which is the forthcoming Mono Tracer E. What are some of the materials you guys used in creating the shell of, of the bike? The major component or material used in the monocoque is DuPont Kevlar. So it's bulletproof? Uh, possibly. The remaining parts of the composite are carbon fiber and fiberglass. So how safe is that? It's basically so you're in a shell. It's like right. a, a helmet for the, your entire body. That's or, a great way to say it, yeah. Or in our case, two, two bodies because yeah. it's a two-seater. That's cool. Acceleration is about four and a half seconds to 60. Top speed is electronically limited to 155 miles an hour because okay. the tires aren't rated past that. We believe the vehicle will, will do 160 and with some gearing change, we plan to do a, a 200 mile per hour assault Ooh. on uh, the Bonneville Salt Flat. So, yes. That's uh, exciting. Plenty of speed there. How about I get to test it out here on the track? It's a perfect day, there's no one here. I'm not sure I can let you out here on the track. We usually uh, start people off a uh, little lower scale, so we'll uh, maybe help get you started in the parking lot. The parking lot, but I can drive it. Yeah, yeah, you can still drive it. All right, let's go. All right, so here we are at the Richmond International Raceway bus parking lot. But hey, don't be confused. This parking lot could hold a lot of buses. Now, before the cameras were rolling, I had a little bit of time to try to get my feet wet in this thing. And at first I was like, whatever, I've ridden bikes. This is like no big deal. A lot harder than I expected. So once you get in, you get going a little bit. Once you find your center of gravity here, we're kind of on the level. We pull up the outriggers. Boom, and we are ready to go. One of the biggest things that I've learned so far in this is the physics, if you will, of steering. Ever since you were a kid, you learned to ride a bicycle. You just naturally picked up the idea of shifting your weight and thinking that shifting your weight actually steers you. It's really completely up to my arms to steer. And when you try to use your weight is when you start to get into trouble. Maybe I laid the bike almost on its side a couple times because of that. But once you get that, oh, oh, it's crazy fast. The acceleration is ridiculous. You've got an AC propulsion screen up here. You've got a couple lights that tell you if you're in forward, neutral, or da 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 da, reverse. For you to land, you just kind of right yourself, slow down a little bit, push the button down, boom, just like that. In some ways, it's very easy, and in some ways, it is not very easy. Hmm. So what's the point of this Mono Tracer? The number one reason for the, um, somebody purchasing a Mono Tracer is just for fun. When you drive this vehicle, you go home and you think about it and you dream about it, you can't get it out of your system. There's no other vehicle like this on Earth and you can't get it anywhere else. So a nice bonus to that is that it happens to be very efficient and uh, even practical. With the gas-powered version, we get 55 miles per gallon. Of course, the electrical one, we're getting, did the X-Prize with 204 miles an hour, but we've actually found that we're getting th over 300 miles per gallon on the highways. And what about future plans? Definitely plan on bringing it to market. Our target right now is sometime in 2011, sometime this year. Okay. Uh, could be as early as fall, but uh, should be by the end of the year, the very latest. All right, mission accomplished. We are the first journalist to successfully pilot the Mono Tracer E. And I think we like it. I mean, I don't know. If I had $90,000, I probably would have spent it on something else first. But if I had spent that $90,000 and I still had another $90,000, I'd probably spend it on that. And that makes sense. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.